Namaste to all. In today's video, we will understand a very important Ved mantra from Ajurveda, 31st chapter, 18th mantra, Purusha Sukta. Om Veda Hametam Purusham Mahantam Aditya Varnam Tamasaha Parastha Tameva Viditvati Mrityumeti Nanya Panta Vidyate Ayanaya is the mantra. In fact, the uh, meaning is written beautifully in the book Rigveda, the Bhashya Bhumika by Maharishi Dhanan Saraswati. I am going to read out to you and also explain to you. In short, basically, please see the full uh, video. The mantra is actually asking a question. The question is not directly written in the mantra, but it's an inner meaning. Inner meaning of the mantra is, by knowing what or by knowing whom can one become wise person. The mantra gives an answer in which a yogi is speaking in the mantra. I am certainly wise because I know the Purusha. Yogi says, Veda aham, Veda aham, aham Veda. I am certainly wise because I know the Purusha, the Supreme Almighty God, whose attributes are, He is greatest of all, He is eternal, He is self-effulgent, and He is above and beyond the darkness of ignorance and nascence. God does not have any darkness, any ignorance, any avidya, kam, krodh, etc. And this Almighty God is known by a yogi, and yogi is speaking in the mantra. And the mantra further says, no one can become wise without knowing this Almighty God because only by knowing the Purusha, this Supreme Lord, can a man cross the death and attain the supreme state of enlightenment or emancipation, which is beyond death. There is no other means of reaching that state. This is what the mantra says. In fact, the mantra uses a very strong word, Nanya Pantaha. Maharishi further writes the use of the word Yeva. Yeva means only. In the text shows that no one should ever offer even the slightest worship to any other Almighty God, any other God, self-created God other than the Almighty God who creates the universe. Other than the Purusha, other than the Almighty God, we should not create our own Almighty God and worship. That this in fact is the meaning of is also apparent from the words there is no other way for reaching the goal nanya panta vidyate ayanaya what is that goal that goal is the emancipation moksha there is no other way of obtaining happiness either in the affairs of this world or in those concerning of the other world other world means next births future births the only road to happiness is the worship of almighty god alone there can be no doubt that by believing and worshiping another as a god man comes to grief man will go into problems the settled conclusion from this mantra therefore is that the purusha alone the almighty god alone is the legitimate object of worship of all the men what a beautiful explanation by almighty uh, marishi dhanan saraswati i hope you understood thank you so much namaste om